It has been three days since the virus has spread. It has taken a lot of lives. All we know about this virus is that it breaks down the nervous system in the body of the infected individual and slowly spreads through the body up until the point of death is reached. The only way to be safe from this virus is to wear a mask which protects your mouth and nose. The army has been deployed to help and guide the people of our nation through this pandemic. All borders have been closed, and the government is asking you to remain in your home for the time being, until all of this has been figured out and resolved. Are you still holding up? Not really. Can we take a break? All right. Let's settle down. Thanks. How far till we reach the bunker? It's not that far anymore. Only a few miles before we get there. Finally. We've been traveling for days now. It will be worth it. We don't have to look over our shoulders the entire time anymore. I hope so. I'm pretty hungry. Could you grab me some food? I'm not hungry. Still coming? You go ahead. I'll check the map. All right. Rick? Drop all your stuff and put your hands up. All right. Do it! Just take it easy. Let's just stay calm. Rick, go! David, are, are you okay? Uh, uh, I got hit. No, no. We gotta move. We're almost there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hold on. Gotta make a run for it. Can you run? I'm gonna have to. Get them! Uh. David! Rick, you have to go on without me. I'm not gonna make it. No, I, I can't leave you. You have to. The gang is closing in. Speak this with you. Take care, brother.
Yes. Hello? There's someone out there. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I repeat, I'm able to hear you. Finally. I've been trying to get into contact with someone for hours now. So have I. I locked myself into a bunker to stay away from the infected people. I did the exact same thing. But you were the first person I came into contact with. The same thing goes for me. I was working my shift at a warehouse while the outbreak happened. Fortunately, I was able to escape the virus. My brother and I were picking up some groceries while it happened. It all went so fast. All of a sudden, people fell down to their knees inside of the store. People were screaming and crying and running. I... I just froze. My brother grabbed my shoulder and took me out of there as fast as he could. I'm really thankful for him. He's the reason I'm still alive. Is your brother still with you in the bunker? No, I lost him. What happened to your brother, if I may ask? Once the virus spread, me and my brother tried to seek shelter. But there were also many gangs ruling the streets. They tried to take as many supplies as they could and form their own groups trying to rob and kill any person they came across. My brother saved me from them, but got shot, so I had to leave him behind. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. I didn't catch your name yet. My name is Rick. What's yours? My name is Alan. Nice to meet you, Rick. Nice to meet you too, Alan. Rick. We already killed your brother, and you're next. Rick, are you there? Alan? Alan, can you hear me? Fuck. Took my brother away from me. I'm here to help. Please, please. Oh.
Alan, can you hear me? I don't know if anyone can hear me, or if there is even anyone left out there, but I've been in this bunker for three days now, and my food is starting to run out. If there is still anyone out there, I need your help. It gets quite lonely in here. Rick, are you there? Alan? I'm right here. Do you hear me? Yes. Rick, I hear you. Wow. I've been trying to reach you ever since we lost contact. Yeah, me too. What happened? The radio lost its contact, and after that, well... After running out of food, I looked around this place a bit more. Should have done that earlier. I found a ton of food hidden inside one of the cabinets. That's great news, Rick. I'm truly happy for you. Thanks, Alan. I was wondering, do you have any experience with the virus itself and the way it spreads? Yeah, just a little. I didn't experience any infections firsthand, but I do know that just by breathing in regular air, you could be infected. Why? Did something happen? Ah, uh, I'm actually really scared. In the heat of the moment, I took off my mask to eat the food from the cabinet. But after, I remembered that you shouldn't take your mask off while eating. I put it back on as fast as I could. How long did it take before you put your mask back on? Um, something around 15 seconds, I guess? Don't worry then. You're all good. It takes two minutes for the virus to reach your nerve system and get you infected. That's a real relief, Alan. Thank you so much. No worries. Wait. Rick, what area did you say your bunker was located? I'm in Boston. Rick, they're evacuating the place down there right now. You can go outside. The air isn't toxic anymore. Alan, thank you so much. I will find you again. I promise. To whoever finds this letter, the person you just met, Rick, he is my younger brother. If you're reading this, it means I'm already dead and had to leave him behind. Hello, can you hear me? Finally, I've been trying to get into contact with someone for hours now. Open up the bunker, sir. We are here to evacuate you. My little brother is schizophrenic, so not everything is as it seems. Please look after him and make sure he survives this pandemic. His older brother, David. <laughs>